Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the lovely rise in price that we have seen in Bitcoin but trying to answer the question of is this it? Okay, so are we turning around right now or is there still room to go up? So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. I must apologize first off, it's 9.30 a.m. Uh, I don't normally wake up to about 12. <laughs> so yeah, I got woken up by some alerts this morning and it's worth it because obviously the price action has been amazing, but I am slightly tired. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how this TA goes. Um, so I want to firstly like show you all uh, some of the predictions that I've made for this recently because it's not just like now I can say like hindsight oh look we've just moved up to like 6,700, look at that. Um, some of the predictions that I've been making lately have been exactly that okay it has been uh this one this one's hilarious actually uh when i was like saying on on uh on twitter the other day obviously we had this symmetrical triangle to the upside and you just get everybody saying this is a bearish symmetrical triangle we're going down you know you have like 90 percent of the market just so totally bearish that's what i absolutely love i absolutely love it when everybody else is so bearish uh because i like to be the the kind of the guy that nobody else kind of um agrees with uh, and we had a lot of comments of people just saying you know this this is uh you know bearish bearish you know just absolutely a lot of people saying the books are wearing thin hate to counter trade you no not going to happen uh this guy saying influencers bullish time to short well thank you very much as i said here I'm not an influencer. I honestly could not care about the amount of followers I have. I'm here to like provide content to help you out. And if you know, if I help one person, I help one person. But um, you know, I'm, I definitely uh, don't think you should try and counter trade me. That is a the poorest decision you can make in your life. Uh, and once again, we moved very much up from there. And then from last night, uh, this is the last one that I'll show you. But this was my prediction. I done a live stream last night. So if you aren't aware. I do like a lot of bonus videos, and these this is for every level of uh, member. But we last night I done a um, live stream, which is in the bonus videos now, and this was my prediction from the live stream that we were inside of this uh, somewhat, uh, you know, wave four essentially, and we were in wave four. I was looking for this wave five to push up to around six thousand seven hundred and fifty. We obviously have pushed up here to 6,757. So what a prediction that was. <laughs> um, and this was like my follow up to the, to that prediction uh, last night saying I'm looking for the lows to be taken. So I did short the first swing failure pattern. OK, so I shorted the first swing failure pattern, which we had up here. And then I was trading it down to the lows where I closed out of my short. OK, so closed out of that short. And then I was waiting for us to swing failure of the lows to go back into a long. What did we do? I'll zoom in and show you exactly what happened. We did come down, we swing failure that low, and we got the next rise to the upside. So, I mean, like, this is like prediction after prediction after prediction after prediction. And I mean, yeah, obviously, I ha have money on the line on all of it. I'm doing a cha another challenge account at the moment. So, uh, my other challenge account that I'm running, obviously, I completed the 1 to 10 on BitMEX. So, now I am doing another one of 0 0.1 to uh, you know, one Bitcoin. Uh, so that's obviously going really, really nice yesterday. Oh, and I will, last little bit before I go into the TA gain, and I'm sorry, you'll, you'll probably, some of you are like, ah, this guy. Uh, but yeah, my, my, uh, done another spontaneous, like, live stream. These are just extra live streams, because I like, you know, why not? And I done the live stream on the 18th of explaining why I'm going into a long position, and this was back at 5,300. Uh, from 5,300 to 5,200, I was explaining, like, why I'm at, like, um, uh, going into a laddered long position. So that was getting into a long at uh, 5,300. And then this was like last night explaining why I still think we're going to push on higher. So uh, yeah, doubled that account now. <laughs> Pretty easy. And yeah, that obviously gave us this this lovely rise to the upside. And this was my thoughts last night that, um, you know, everything's looking good for now. Keep an eye on the swing failure. We've done the swing failure. We came back down, swing failure, the lows. And then we uh, pushed past on the second attempt. You know, this is where you have to literally ignore all the news. Ignore everybody saying... On social media, oh, this is so bearish, you know, we've got to uh, short the retest, you know, the volume is so low, la, 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 all of these sort of excuses. Uh, but at the end of the day, trade the chart, don't trade a bias, and you will make money. Or well, you definitely should be making money if you know what you're doing. Um, so then, yeah, that leaves us with the question then of, of where's this going from here? Okay, and I think it's like really, really, really interesting uh, because we have this like massive market dynamic right now of, uh, you know, you, you have to think of the, of the outside world, and this is where people are getting like really confused. I think that you know, the uh, stock markets, for example, they, they are still pretty red, okay? So you, you go across some of the stocks. Obviously, they've, they had a green day yesterday. And I think it's really important to know why <laughs> they, they bounced, okay? So we'll look at, like, the biggest market in the world, okay? Um, 
sorry, my trading view is like really, really slow lately. This will load, but it's just so slow indeed. Shouldn't have come off of the Bitcoin chart. But basically, yeah, look at this. So we obviously come down, took the liquidity of that low. And that's why we bounced yesterday. We literally come down to that massively important low. Took the, you know, you're always going to bounce from that because there's so many stops below it. So, um, you know, there was no, re you know, you just had to expect that bounce was coming yesterday. Everything was extremely oversold. And there's, you know, that's the perfect place for this like mini rally to occur. And you obviously got that across the board. Um, so that's lovely to see. Wow, JD up 20% today. Um, but yeah, so you know everything is kind of bouncing because it's come to really big support levels. Bitcoin, as I mentioned in my tweet when I was like saying, um, when I was saying da -da 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 um, about this, it was the fact that you know Bitcoin is is holding up really really well. So while like the stock markets were continuing to crash, Bitcoin was actually holding really 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 steady, which for me signified like a massive sign of strength from Bitcoin's half. Okay, because everything else around it is crashing hard, including gold, uh, and Bitcoin's holding up really strongly. That for me was why I was getting that bullish feeling, and uh, yeah, it definitely played out well, didn't it? So um, yeah, that's all I would say really. Uh, so, you know, where, what's likely to happen now? I, I think that you can you can definitely see and still another push to the upside. So don't think that this has to be the top here. You can still push on higher. There's no sign of a rejection yet, you know. And if we push on higher, then really you can be looking like 7,800 sort of thing. Like, it's definitely not out the realms of possibility right now. Uh, but I do, obviously, uh, not financial advice. Do whatever you want. I'm just here to educate and nothing more. Um you know, uh, so, so do you do your own research. But I, I still think that there's definitely this possibility of another push to the upside. OK, you look at the funding rate over on BitMEX. There's just it, there's just a lot of reasons why this can still push on a bit more. But obviously, the more we push up, the more cautious you have to be like is opening a new long right now a good idea. Uh, arguably, no, to be honest. Because we're, we're so overextended. In two days, we're up 30%. And yes, I've participated in that. So, um, you know, this is like the levels where I am starting to sell my Bitcoin. Okay, so smart traders that bought down here, in my opinion, are starting to sell now. So then you get the FOMO crowd, like the average trader that's, that didn't buy anything here. And now they're it's up 30% and they're starting to think, oh my God, I need to buy. This is going to the moon sort of thing. And, you know, they're sort of starting to buy into my sell orders. So that's what you have to be thinking right now. I think smart traders are starting to sell doesn't mean like this is the absolute top and we we can't go higher from here but you know it, it, it is coming more and more likely that we will turn around south sharply soon um but yeah, I do think we can push on a little bit more before that happens. Um, obviously, if you start losing support, so this is the thing. Once you start losing support, then it's more likely the top is in. Okay, and then we could say this one-to-one -one extension, you know, is, is likely the top. Uh, so it's, it's it's really for me currently, as it stands, like literally right now, it's like a 50-50. I do feel as if this definitely could be a top. But at the same point, I do feel as if, if we can push on a bit higher. Uh, and that obviously requires confirmation. At the end of the day confirmation is king okay so confirmation is really 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 massively important and uh we, we just you just don't have that okay so there's no confirmation really that this is a, a top obviously you saw the high low, low um the high upper wick but it's being bought back and you, you you are making essentially another higher low so you have to be like on on guard for the next i would say like few hours at least to see where this pushes um obviously if you start then losing support then it's more likely that was a top, but if that doesn't happen, then yeah, definitely we can still push on for another wave upwards here. Okay, so you could just subdivide this last fifth uh, into another step or say that this was some sort of running flat and maybe this is just the one, two, three, four. And we, you know, the subdivision on the fifth is not quite there at the moment. So you could definitely come up for another subdivision, another subwave within this fifth of the C, in my opinion. So that's definitely possible indeed. And I guess I'll just end with this question that I received earlier. Um, so obviously, um, you know, I was like talking about this uh, prediction and stuff like that literally was amazing. Uh, but, um, you know, there was a question that I wanted to highlight here. Um, yeah, this question here. So what gives you clues that these moves have more more, more of them in there? And um, my, my answer was, you know, it's not always just about technical analysis. So like as I've kind of like hinted on here, obviously I don't go into so much detail, but I've hinted on, you know, it's more than just technical analysis. It's looking at the whole bigger picture, thinking about what other people are doing, thinking about what's going to literally wreck the majority of the market. You know, that's likely what's going to happen. OK, so it's like much more than just like technical analysis per se, when you like are trading and I can go into this in more detail in a public video um, because it kind of does require a whole video in itself but you just have to acknowledge that trading is more than just um, is literally more than just technical analysis and um, like like kind of like highlights like it's all about being in sync and having this connection with the market and I would say like my connection with Bitcoin is just 
yeah, absolutely unreal. How many moves have I predicted? It's absolutely crazy amount of times I've absolutely nailed the biggest moves in crypto. Uh, so, you know, yeah, it's definitely having this connection. And how do you get that connection? It's not really something that you can just read a book about. Uh, you just have to literally be doing this every single day for years. And then you get like the connection, you get the experience. That's the, that's the word I'm looking for, the experience that you get from just doing this every single day for years upon years is what is required to have that connection and that's when you can really get these feel the feel for where the market's going to push to next and obviously it's highly rewarding in monetary value uh to, to get some of these moves because we're talking about like 30 40 50 percent moves in days um absolutely insane so um yeah that, that's the bitcoin technical analysis update that i have for you today uh, obviously if we do push on from here, we can start to look for the top of this channel. Um, but we are at the one-to-one -one extension. So, you know, it does look as if it's probably going to push on for another leg here, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm starting to like ladder some sell orders. So I'm playing it a little bit cautious. I'm, I'm more than happy with the amount that I've, I've done here. And... Um, yeah, starting to play the caution to the wind, but uh, still feel as if we can get this this another push to the upside. But what a journey it's been! What a journey it's been uh, over the last over the last month. Obviously, shorting all of the leg down, and then obviously I didn't buy the exact bottom, so I'm not going to say you know I I I. I you know, I didn't short, you know, 10,500, the exact dollar to the top. I didn't buy the exact bottom, ten, you know, 3,600 to the bottom. But I participated in the majority of the move to the downside and now to the upside. And that's what you want as a trader. You're not after as a trader, okay? I'll end with this. So you're not after as a trader to short the exact top and to long the exact bottom, okay? That is for ego traders. That's for people that want to post, you know, whatever. Um, you know, that isn't how you actually make money in trading by trying to time the exact, exact, exact top. Uh, you make more, the most money by waiting for a bit of confirmation and participating as you all know i shorted 10,300 from my harmonic shorted 10,300 closed out of my obviously i was going in and out of in and out of shorts but obviously from my shorts started at 10,300 so not the exact top after we were making the, some you know market structure and then closed out of my shorts obviously then i reshorted around 7,800 closed out of those shorts around 4,300 and then it ended into the majority of my longs at around 5,300. So, you know, that's just, I, I just wanted to end with that to say, you know, you don't have to time the exact, exact tops. As long as you participate in the majority of the move, that's what makes you extremely profitable. And, you know, that's what, um, is what you should strive for, I suppose. So, yeah. I suppose that kind of links into what you're doing now. Don't try and short the exact top of this. Wait for a bit of confirmation. And, uh, you know, it makes your life so much easier. So, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. And, um, yeah. If you have, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And yeah, let me know, I suppose, in the comments uh, if you would like me to do a video on like what I would call like the five levels of a trader and how you can progress up these levels. Um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see those sort of videos. So yeah, cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Cheers. Bye.